Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, I am starting this vlog, obviously sat in the car. It is a super hot day, but I'm not going to complain because it's the start of my birthday week. Yes, I'm being one of those really annoying people that drags their birthday out for a week. I know a couple of vlogs ago we had like an early birthday with Andy's parents, but it's the official birthday week. I'm turning 30 on Friday and so yeah pretty nervous about it but yeah we've got some really nice plans so I I'm actually really excited to start this vlog um, because I think it's going to be a really fun week um, we forecast some unbelievably good weather for this week I could not have asked for better weather for my birthday and for all the things that we're doing so um, yeah there we go so plan of action for today is I am about to go and get my nails done because I've lost like two nails. They're all overgrown. We've got to get nice birthday nails. I'm thinking about going for something really like cute and like pretty because um, I, this week I'm heading to Bowlesworth tomorrow, which is like a horsey, like a horsey thing. <laughs> Me and Andy are going there. And then Friday we had actually heading down to the Cotswolds. We're going to Time, the hotel, which is a hotel that I've wanted to stay at now for a couple of years since I first discovered it. Um, but I've always wanted to obviously just go for a nice occasion with me and Andy. And we actually looked at it um, last year. But for those of you that have been watching my vlogs for a while, you'll know the stress and the headache that we had when it came to moving house. Our moving date kept getting moved. So this time last year, we were getting seriously messed around um, with the whole house moving process. So the logistics just didn't work because my birthday was actually almost gonna be on the day that we, um, that we moved. It did get canceled in the end. In hindsight, we could have gone, but yeah, logistically it just didn't work last year. But yeah, so I'm really excited to head down there this year. And then on Saturday, um, we're just going to explore around, I think probably head um, to a couple of places down there. Um, and then on Saturday evening, our friends are coming over and we're just going to have a barbecue at the house. And yeah, just some nice celebrations. I feel like if I'm looking quite shiny. I've not put foundation on today. I've just popped on. Have I got lipstick there? Oh no. I've just used um, this like BB cream. But it's super, super um, like glossy. It's probably the worst thing to use when it's a super hot day. So if I look like I'm melting or I look super oily, that is why. I'm half regretting using it. I don't know what it's going to look like on camera, but mm, it doesn't actually in real life, it doesn't look that bad. But I feel like on camera, it's picking up. I feel like I've, I look like I've got a face full of highlighter on. I've not actually got any highlighter on. It's all this BB cream, but... I just couldn't be bothered with foundation today. It's too hot. So, guys, let's kick off the official birthday week. Let's go and sort these bad boy nails out because they look horrendous. Having fingers and toes done, the full works. Um, and then, yeah, today is very much a me pamper day. I'm doing nails. I'm going to do a nice face mask. I'm going to wash my hair. So that for tomorrow, because we are setting off, um, setting off about 9 o'clock in the morning. So I just want to be as ready as I can be. I don't want to be faffing around washing my hair in the morning. And then yeah, really fun day tomorrow. I'm just, I could not be happy with how the weather has turned out, honestly. So nice. But anyway, let's go. I'm gonna try and drink my Coke Zero before the sun warms it up too much. Okay, let's go. Nails all done. I went for these pretty uh, nude nails with hearts on. Some of you might remember actually, you probably won't. That's <laughs> probably a bit silly to expect you to remember what nails I have, but I had these uh, back in February for Valentine's Day and I really like them. I just think they're so cute. I still like the fact that they're nude and when they grow out it's not overly noticeable because as we all know I struggle to go and get my nails done. But um, I, I just like the little hearts on there, I just think they look really, really cute. And then I did also get my tootsies done, but I'm not going to focus too much on that because there are strange people on the internet. <laughs> I also came back to this package, which strangely enough, I, I swear I said on the vlog just before I left to get my nails done, I was going to have a pamper night. And then I received this lovely parcel from Garnier and it's full 
of um, masks. So full of these hyaluronic cryo jelly, anti-fatigue jelly eye patches. And they sent me a few packets of those and then their regular um, face masks. I'm not sure if this is a new mask from them, but I've not, oh yeah it is. Oh no, it's a new sachet. I've not seen this one before though, the um, anti-fatigue ones. So I'm guessing these are gonna be really good um, popping these in the fridge. So I'm gonna um, use one of these tonight. Thank you, Guy. Eh? Something I don't think I've ever told you about um, are my new little chicken friends. Well, they're not mine. Um, our neighbours have chickens. They've had them for ages now. And um, yeah, it's been my mission to make friends with them because as you guys will know, I just love all animals and it's like, I take it really personally if I can't make friends with every animal <laughs> that I meet. So I've been really, really making friends with the girls next door, my little chickens, and they're so sweet. And now they know me and now they know my voice. And now when I shout to them, they come waddling over. And they're so sweet. Um, and now they actually wait outside the house for me because yeah, I have been giving them a few little treats here and there. They've had some blueberries, they've had some raspberries. They, yeah, they love a little treat from their Auntie Alex. So <laughs> I've just spotted them, um, not all of them. I think there's about eight of them in total, but two of the girls are outside. So I'm gonna go and give them, I think I've got a few raspberries um, that I can give them. So I'm just gonna introduce you to, not my chickens, but my adopted nieces, let's just call them. Where are they? Girlies, hello. Where's your, where's your sister? Hello, sweetheart. Yes, yes, yes. One moment. Come on then, sweetheart. Come on. Come on, darling. <laughs> right, would you like some raspberries? Here you go, straight out the box. Nice. Here you go, sweetheart. Straight out the box for you. Not my finger though, not my finger. They always think my finger is something. There you go, is that nice? Right girls, there's one in there, look. There you go, nice. Uh, don't fight. Right, you have that one. There you go, you have that one, good girl. Ladies, don't fight over them. <laughs> Are you making a mess now on my drive? You can have a look at the camera. Yeah. Mm, look at the camera. Cute. Yes, in one moment, please. <laughs> Don't pet my finger. You're quite tame. You usually let me stroke you. Good girl. Hi, little girl. Oh dear. Right, I think that's all. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Don't peck the camera. <laughs> you naughty girl. Don't you try and square up to this camera. Excuse me. There's no more. Right, I'm going to leave you to it now. Okay. Yes, see you in a minute. So, it's a few hours... Oh, I thought I was flashing you then. It's a few hours later and I have showered. I've checked the weather forecast and it's going to be very, very hot tomorrow. So I've scrapped the plan to wash my hair and wear my hair down and blow dried and all of that because I think it's just going to be one of those days where it's going to be so hot and muggy. It's going to stick to my face, go all, the humidity is going to get at it. So I've already decided my hair is going to be in like a low bun, hopefully a bit better looking than the one I've got right now. So that's, that's one less thing I've had to do this evening. I'm not bothered washing my hair, but I'm going to do one of these Garnier face masks, the Hyaluronic Cryo Jelly face mask. And I'm also going to do a nice layer of tan. I'm actually not, I'm not too pale really, but you know, I'm going to be outside all day. I want to look nice and bronzed, but I'm going to pop this on for 15, 20 minutes first. Because if I fake tan first and then do this, this is all wet and sticky and it all end up running down my neck and yeah, ruining my tan. Oh, I thought it was this that I could smell. This smells gorgeous. Oh, that is so lovely. 
I um, I popped the I popped all of the face masks straight in the fridge. Oh, wow. <laughs> I popped all the face masks straight into the fridge when I unboxed them. So, oh, after a really hot day, this is just so lovely. Oh my gosh, yes, this is what my face needed today. Okay, face mask all on. Now I can barely talk. I think my face, like my face is always far too small for face masks. I always have to like crinkle, crinkle up a little bit. Oh my gosh, this feels so nice after a hot day. Wow, Andy did say he wanted to, he wanted to do one as well. So I'm gonna go and grab him one out of the fridge. And then in terms of fake tan, there have been a couple that I've been using recently. Uh, I think I'm gonna use a bit of filter, you know, because I don't actually think I've used this and like vlogged about it and showed any of it. So I'm using the extra dark filter this evening. And what I really love about this one is the way it fades. I feel like it's, I can't help myself seriously when I've got this on. It's not one of those tans that goes super patchy and scaly on me. And I have used a few tans that do do that, but I really like this and because I've got a few things planned for this week, um, I don't mind if I have to reapply tan, but I'd rather it fade nicely at least so I'm not putting tan over scaly, patchy, horrible tan. But first I'm going to have a little chill in my mask and then I will reconvene with you in the morning and show you my beautiful bronze skin and show you kind of like the colour of that filter tan because I know so many of you are always looking for like a good fake tan so yeah I'll show you how that one looks in the morning but for now good night guys I'll see you in the morning when I'm getting ready for Bolsworth. Good morning guys it is the next day um, you'll never guess what I did last night so I put my face mask on and was I got into bed and I thought right I'll sit here for 15 minutes and then I'll go and do my tan. I fell asleep. Didn't manage to um, get up and do my tan so I haven't actually put any tan on but to be fair I feel like I'm an alright colour. I'm going to put some moisturiser on so that my skin is a bit more glossy but yeah I didn't actually manage to um, do my tan but I have done my makeup this morning and oh I used this. I used this um, SPF that I got sent in my last vlog. A few of you guys, oh let me turn you around. There you go. A few um, a few people commented saying it was really good because I asked if anyone had used this before. Um, so it's an Australian brand. SPF 50. It's so lovely on the skin. It sat beautifully underneath my makeup. It's got no... Uh, my skin's not like pilling or anything like that, it doesn't feel dry, it feels really hydrating, almost feels more like a hydrating um, primer, doesn't feel like you've got a weird film or anything on your skin um, and as someone that has used a lot of SPF 50s in particular, that is a very good sign, I really, really like that, so for you guys that messaged me saying it's really good, you, um, yeah, you gave me a kick up the bum to try it today and so far very impressed i've had it on for about an hour now and as you can see my makeup is sat lovely but anyway i need to stop touching my hair because i'm annoying myself i'm just quickly doing my hair i'm not doing anything major because it's going to be another hot one today so i'm actually just going to have my hair in um kind of like a low bun i think i still want it to look a little bit um a little bit sort of messy so i'm going to pop in a few a few curls here and there. So we're heading to Bolsworth today. It's about, mm, I want to say about two hours, two and a half hours maybe with traffic away from where we live. So a little bit of a drive, but I think it's going to be a really nice day, especially with the weather being the way it is. It's going to be really lovely. I already know what I'm wearing and I've just uh, steamed, steamed it. I'm going for an all white outfit. I'll show you what I'm wearing actually in a minute. And um, speaking of horses, just wanted to say a quick thank you to all the lovely comments and messages I got 
that um, in regards to me and Flickr and us winning our competition in the last vlog. I was very, very pleased with her. She's just so good. She's such a good girl. Honestly, everyone that meets her, everyone that is in contact with her, everyone, uh, I know I sound like, I sound like one of those annoying mums, you know, that those mums that think their children are just the best and the greatest at everything. I promise I'm not one of those mums, but I kind of am. But honestly, everyone that meets her and knows her, I'm always getting complimented on her. Like, not for the way she looks, just her whole, her temperament, her whole demeanour. Everyone just says how cool she is. And she really is. She's such a cool... That is the only way to describe her. She's just so cool. But, so yeah, thank you for all your lovely comments. And one thing I did actually... I think I forgot to mention it in the, um, in the last vlog. Because the vlog ended a little bit quicker than I would have usually liked because I basically I'd run out of time that day after vlogging and I wanted to get the vlog up. One thing I did forget to mention is that we, yes we won which is absolutely amazing but we've also qualified now for the Trailblazers Show Jumping Championships in September. So we're going to be heading down there in September so we're going to be putting in some work and training so that we're ready for that. And I'm really excited about that actually because it's held at such a lovely, uh, like prestigious venue that even just, even just having the chance to compete there is just amazing. I'm really excited for me and for her. She deserves it. But anyway, I'm going to quickly finish my hair and pop it in a low bun and then I shall show you what I am wearing. So my outfit of the day, apologies for the light, but as you can see, blaring sunshine. So it does mean I'm in a slightly darker and a slightly more echoey room because I've also cleared all my clothes out of this room as well. But yeah, this is my outfit. Obviously going to an equestrian um, day. So repping one of my fave equestrian brands. So I've got my Holland Cooper, linen shirt i love these little um gold buttons so lovely my tan holland cooper belt you might have noticed in the last vlog i was actually wearing this for riding for competing in i got it because i thought it's the same color as flicker so we will look very snazzy when i'm wearing it on her but yeah wearing it just as my normal belt today the shorts are from zara and then I'm just wearing my Zara um, like tan loafers and then my mango basket bag because yeah, the sun's shining, it's going to be a lovely day. Hair has gone up. I've popped on my Cos earrings and then I'll also have my YSL sunglasses on. So yeah, that is my outfit for the day. But I'm going to have a quick breakfast now and then we're going to head off. Quick breakfast of smoked salmon and scrambled egg on some sourdough toast before we head off to Bolsworth. We've just arrived at Bolsworth, just parking the car. You can see just behind the tree up there is actually Bolsworth Castle. Andy wasn't sure what to wear today, so he copied my outfit. <laughs> He's gone for almost the exact same vibe. <laughs> All the khakis. Yeah, that'd be a good I'm idea, too bud. Busy modeling. <laughs> too busy showing off your look. You're gonna tell everyone where your outfit's from? Do you even know? I haven't got a clue. Where's your linen shirt from? That's a nice shirt. I've no idea. No idea. Literally couldn't tell you. I just saw it on the, on my rack. Brilliant. <laughs> He'd be such a good influencer, wouldn't he, guys? I actually don't know where single pieces apart from these. These are very good. First little drink of the day. Hey. Cheers. Wow, putting one of these on my Christmas list, eh? Really might, look, might look a bit empty with just flicker. I think I'd have to buy three more horses to justify and this you bag. On your own, I ain't doing that. <laughs>
<laughs> How do you feel about driving that one, Andy? <laughs> that is just a bit big, isn't it? Yeah, let's get this. There we go. One of these ones that's a little bit more up our street, isn't it? These size. Don't know if we'll fit that in the boot of the car, but I have to take it home. So we have arrived at Bolsworth, and I realised I haven't actually spoken to you. So we went into the it's like the VIP marquee. What is yeah marquee? Yeah. Um, watched a little bit of the show jumping. Had a little glass of prosecco, and now we're just having a little look around the shops. Um, spoiler: I've bought a couple of little things. Um, nothing too exciting, but yeah. Yeah, should we look down here? Wherever you want to go, this isn't my shopping scene. <laughs> Andy's not quite sure which direction to look. He doesn't really know what's going on. Round as it stands, lovely, over the log roll. In we come to the turn away from home. This big curved brush, Ooh, little short step, little bit of leg on. Really well ridden there, gets himself out of trouble. Horse and rider working together. Getting stronger and stronger as this uh, round goes on. We get into these uh, narrow little skiddy fences, these uh, little uh, fences that... We're going to bed. You're enjoying your little cake, Sandra. I am, my little cakes. <laughs> little cakes. My little plates. Oh, I've got my little cakes. I did grab a cheese sandwich as well because I was really hungry. Um, got my wine. It's very nice in here. All the food over there. All the guests. And then behind me, uh, oh, you can't see it. We've got the arena in there. It's very, very nice. Are you having a? Oh, <laughs> you get that in your babe. A lovely time. A lovely time. <laughs> so I'm not sure whose birthday it is, mine or Flickers, but um, she's done quite well as well. Out of today, hasn't she, babe? She has. That is nice. Wow. So nice. God, look at the size of it. Desi and Bolly will be very comfortable in that. In that big size? Yeah. Because that's a mini one. That's nice though, the cream, isn't it? Yeah. We have just um, stopped off in some shade because it's very, very hot today. But it's been a lovely day so far. We've been watching the show jumping. We've been watching the eventing. Been doing some shopping. I've got some bags down here. Andrew is actually being my donkey at the minute for me. Also had to have a um, hat fitting because Andy's birthday present to me is a new riding hat which I have wanted for quite a while now so yeah got measured for that so that will be on order as of tomorrow so yeah really really nice day we're just about to go and head back into the marquee grab another drink, get a good seat, and then it's like an eventing masterclass. So basically I'll get to be a full on geek, sit, learn some bits. Um, and Andy, have you learned anything? Have you enjoyed yourself so far? Yeah, no I have. That's no, been good, it's been good. You've been getting quite into it actually. <laughs> you were getting into the eventing, you were cheering. Hello guys, today it's my birthday. I am officially years old we're gonna brush over that part but yeah it's my actual birthday today I had such a lovely day at Bolsworth honestly I'm sorry I couldn't really vlog much but I was honestly just very like engrossed in the actual competition that I didn't think to kind of film a lot of things and plus guys it was very heavy on the horsey content and I know that doesn't pique all of your guys' interest so I didn't want it to be too much of a heavy focus on that but it was such a lovely day honestly we had such good weather for it it felt like we were in another country I was just honestly living my best life sat sipping Prosecco watching the event in Grand Prix and did a little bit of shopping let me show you what I bought I'll whiz through um, the horsey bits <laughs> for those of you not interested but I did also grab um, something for the house as well. So starting off with my faves from Aztec Diamond, one of my favourite equestrian brands. I picked myself up some new breeches for riding because this is a new colour that they do. I think it's called Fawn or is it Taupe? I'm getting all my brands mixed up. Oh, it's called Taupe. And they're just the most gorgeous colour for riding in. I'm showing them you back to front, but really nice just for riding in and I can also wear these for um, competitions as well and they're a little bit more practical than white don't get me wrong I love an all white competition look but 
it's not always practical, especially around horses. I literally have to like wash them constantly. Whereas any other pair of joppers, I can wear them a few times with riding before needing to wash them. So I grabbed myself these. I just loved the colour, thought they were gorgeous. Loved that, my little birthday treat to myself. And then I also got, um, so this is really probably very boring, but just some white um, riding gloves because um, you wear white um, riding gloves traditionally for dressage. And I've always struggled to find um, some that fit me really nicely. And I tried these on when I was there and they're lovely. So I'll be wearing them for our future dressage tests. And then finally, I did treat myself to a new shoulder jacket because my birthday present from Andy is actually um, a new riding hat. And because the hat has um, been like, customized like i've essentially designed the hat it's going to take a couple of weeks to get here so i don't have it with me but when i do i'll show you with this jacket because it's just gorgeous but um spoiler my hat has got like black um kind of like black crystals on it it's just oh, it's so lovely and i saw this show jacket that just had these few little glistening crystals around the collar and i thought oh my gosh it's gonna be they're gonna look so nice together. I just, I had to, I couldn't help myself. Oh my God, my hat with my show jacket. I'm gonna feel so smart to go out competing. Oh, I don't wanna um, crease my dress, but I just need to show you this on. I mean, obviously when you wear these, you wear um, a high neck. <laughs> you wear a shirt underneath, you don't wear a linen dress, but I also love the fact that the buttons have a little bit of glitz on them as well. I just think oh, it's so lovely, such a lovely fit on me. I always struggle with the arms. I've got quite long arms, but the arms on this are actually really nice. I love that it, I love the fit around the waist. I just love it. I feel like I'm gonna look so smart with flicker now when we go out competing. So yeah, I did grab myself this. And that was kind of the horsey bits that I, um, that I treated myself to. Those are my birthday presents to myself. But let me show you what I got for the house. So there were a couple of um, like interiors uh, stalls there. And I thought it was, there were just some stores I'd never heard of before. And this one that I've not heard of, uh, I can't remember the name of it now, it's called Avalon. So I'd never heard of Avalon before, but they did honestly the most gorgeous like tablecloths, napkins, tea towels. Um, you can customize them so you can have anything you want stitched into them if you want. And there's, there's honestly the most gorgeous like patterns and stuff. And I've only got one tablecloth for our dining table. And I do use it quite a lot. I find it just so much easier chucking a tablecloth on when we have like our friends around, bunging it in the wash after. But I thought, you know what, I actually want a really nice one for in the summer. And we've got our friends coming round um, tomorrow evening. Um, so I thought, oh, it'd be really nice actually to put a more summery kind of tablecloth on there. So I won't, um, I won't get it out. But this is, the, um, this is the brand. So Avalon Home. So I got their tablecloth. But look how gorgeous that fabric is. You can probably see it better this side. Look how pretty that is. I just think that's gonna look so lovely on the table. And I've got um, my green, uh, what do you call it, wine glasses from um, Doddington's. So I just thought, oh, that'll be really nice on here. Um, oh, Andy's just walked in. Hello. You all right? Oh, thank you. So plan of action for today is, as you can see, I have got myself ready. I'm wearing my um, dress that you might remember from my last um, vlog from Forever New. Just my short, like, white linen dress because it's going to be another hot one today. I'm being very brave wearing this to um, travel down to where we're going. Ugh, maybe I should have worn something different, but oh well. So, wearing this from Forever New and we're travelling down to um, Time Hotel, which is uh, basically in the Cotswolds. It's a um, really cute hotel, wanted to go there for a while. So we'll be driving down to there. We're gonna stay there tonight. We've got like um, dinner in the restaurant booked. And yeah, we're just gonna chill out and have a peaceful, nice day and night. I've got um, a massage booked there for in the morning. And then yeah, we'll probably just have a little mooch, have a little mooch around and yeah, just have some nice 
nice quality time but look what I was sent this morning I was very happy so I received this gorgeous Fortnum and Mason box let me show you what's inside it so when you open it up this is what's inside got a lovely bottle of rosé champagne from Andy's mum and dad just thought that was so lovely I'm so excited to crack that open tomorrow it's my absolute favorite um drink love a rosé champagne but then you pull open this little drawer look at this you've got pink champagne truffles i mean whew. honestly the excitement to open this and just indulge in these tomorrow is real i'm so excited but for now i'm going to get these in the fridge so that they don't melt with these temperatures and yeah, look forward to these tomorrow. Even Desi, Bolly and Flickr bought me a birthday card, although not too happy about the wording on the card, but how cute. Andy's just been laughing at me because we drove past this like factory and Andy went, oh look, Lotus. I said, oh look, there's a Lotus. I didn't realise they were here. And was laughing at me because I thought he meant Lotus Biscoff. I meant the car. And I thought it was like a Lotus Biscoff factory and I was like, oh wow, Lotus Biscoff and he burst burst into tears practically laughing because it was the car. And car factory. The car factory. That's not really where my mind went when I heard Lotus. Typical me, I thought, food. Anyway, we are, as you can see, in the car on the way down. We've got about an hour left until an we're hour. there. About an hour until we're there. We've just hit like Cotswolds territory. I'm really sorry if you're swinging about there. The roads are a little bit bumpy here. I was literally just thinking about why like the whole turning 30 thing is such a big, like big deal. Like you turned, were you 30 last year? Or the year before? Last year. Last year. God, I feel like you turned 30 ages ago. Things go slow in your 30s. <laughs> Life slows down in your 30s. Oh, were, you, were you worried about turning 30? No, I don't were care you, about that stuff. You don't care? No. It doesn't bother me. Why? Everyone's going to turn 30. Because every, everyone says you're meant to have your life sorted by 30. Yeah, I think it's one I of those... I still feel like a child. Yeah, I still feel like a child. I, like, How old do you feel in your head? 25. 25? You feel yeah. like you are in your 20s? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like mid-20s. Yeah, I probably feel like 21. Oh, oh, oh. Like, yeah, you do act like that, actually. <laughs> I think it is that age though, isn't it? I think everyone kind of self-reflects, don't they? can't be bothered. Yeah, but why? Like, just, it's just, just because keep people, moving. I think people put these milestones... Well, it is a milestone. It's like a new decade, isn't it? But I oh think people... Word, that sounds old. <laughs> well, yeah, entering a new decade. The next decade you enter is going to be 40. Yeah, no, but it is that thing everyone self-reflects. Everyone kind of looks at their life, don't they? And kind of... Really? No. Even subconsciously. I think you do. I think, oh, am I where I want, thought I would be when I'm 30? No, I did not have that thought once. I because I just... I did. But that's not why, like, guys, I did have a few tears last night, didn't I? Yeah. I literally had a few tears in bed. At Ridiculous. The thought of, I know. But it's not, for me, it's not about the, oh, have I done everything I wanted to do by Tom and Fernsey? That's not why it got me. Mine is more like a fear of, like, just getting older. It's that fear. Do you know what you I mean? You can't do anything about it, though, so why be scared about it? I know. But, like, as unpopular as it might be to say, I feel very content with where I am for 30. Like... I'm all right. Do you know what I mean? I feel I've got, I've got a house, I've got doggies, I've got Flickr, I've got a hobby I enjoy, a job I enjoy. Like, in terms of life, probably won't make me very popular to say, but like... I'm, You're very fortunate. Yeah, I feel very lucky. Like, I'm, I'm happy with my lot in life right now. But it still didn't stop me getting upset last night when I thought about turning 30. I think, you know what I think it was? It's more about mourning my 20s. I feel like... Oh my God, this really... is so serious. No, but, like... no but, but everyone makes a big deal of 30. I turned 30 but... and I didn't even once think about the fact that, I've, on my word, I'm never going to be 20. Maybe it's more of like a female... <laughs> maybe it's more of a female thing. Yeah, because you're thinking far too much. Guys, let me know, because I know a lot of you that watch my vlogs will be 30 plus. So, let me know, how did you feel when you were turning? Were you like me? Were you kind of worried, nervous, did you not care? Because I think there will be a few, like, that said, yeah, I was dreading it. My but advice, it, well, everyone's going to respond and say, but it's fine. My advice for the day, you can't change it. See you, man.
as well. Yeah. Just live with it. You can't change it, why worry? Exactly. Control the controllables. Yeah, look at we've got Gandhi sat in the car. <laughs> Gandhi! <laughs> Gandhi <laughs> Gandhi Andy. Control the controllables. If you oh. can't control it, leave it. I'm gonna start calling you Gandhi instead of Andy now. <laughs> But let me know how you felt, what did you do, how are you feeling now, now you're in your 30s. Reassure me guys, and if anyone is tempted to say, oh it's awful, it's downhill, just don't. <laughs> don't, I'm too fragile right now to hear it. I'm really exposing us here for how dirty the car windows are, but it's so cute driving through here. So we're about 15 minutes away, we're just driving through Burford. You just can't beat that Cotswold stone look, can you? It's no. so pretty. Look at that, all the flowers. It's very peaceful. Isn't it? Yeah, it's just, it feels like it's just a very wholesome place, doesn't it? It reminds me of Goodnight Mr. Tom. Yeah, it does remind me of Goodnight Mr. Tom. Was that filmed in the Cotswold? I don't know if it was. I feel like to, it wasn't. I'm going to have to Google that now. I, just, oh, I used to love that film. It's very sad though, isn't it? Guys, we've just arrived at Time Hotel. Honestly, I'm feeling slightly overwhelmed. We just had um, just a little tour around. God, it's, it's like calling it a hotel just doesn't even seem nice. Enough. It's, 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 they described it as like being a village within a village and that's literally what it feels like. It's honestly one of the most stunning places I think I've ever been to in my life. The interiors, they're all, um, refurbished, um, refurbished like old agricultural buildings. So there's a place like called the Ox Barn where they used to keep the oxes. There's um, a place called the Piggery where obviously the pigs used to live. And the interiors, like the decor, like there's so much inspiration here for like your own house, your own garden. And my gosh, like considering we're doing our house at the minute, coming here is just blown me away completely like there's a little shop which i'm going to go and have obviously go and have a little look around i don't know where to take you first to show you because it's so stunning honestly i'm going to go around in a minute and try and get some bits on camera but i also want to enjoy it i want to relax as well but I, we've just been shown to our room so let me just show you the room it's just unbelievable so you've got this path down here and um, along the path there's these gorgeous archways with these little doors into the garden rooms. So this one is dandelion. And as you can see further down the path there's more. This one is ours. We're in forget-me-not. But the, I mean this is just a little glimpse of what I mean by how stunning it is. Look at these gardens. Like I just cannot get over how beautiful it is. It's just stunning but anyway let me take you into the room i've got so much to show you guys so this is our, our little room forget me not even the color of the door just so gorgeous so this is our own little little private bit so we've got a little garden area here with a little fire pit that they can come and light up for us in the evening if we want that let me just whoop, shut the door I had obviously we've got the bifold doors open so i'll just take you in here to show you our room. Oh, I mean, it's just absolutely unreal. I, I can't get over it. I don't know what to look at first on camera. When you walk in, even here, look, as soon as you walk in the front door, little place here to pop your boots on, little umbrella. Then you come in, you've got the little seating area here. We've come into some lovely champagne on arrival, but I think that is down to a uh, that's down to Andrew, isn't it? I don't think that's a standard thing. I think Andy's had this when we arrived. So gorgeous. Oh, hang on. Let's not break anything. We've just arrived. Here we've got the most amazing little like dressing area. Look how gorgeous this mirror is. It's so nice. We've got some um, drinks here on the tray. Look at Country Life magazine. Honestly, I feel like I'm in heaven got some complimentary water, some Negroni. What have we got here? Oh, cheese straws, chocolate chip cookies. Oh, so nice. I've got a little tea station here. Oh my God, look, even down to like the cups and saucers. So cute. Oh, what tea have we got? I know I usually, um, I always have to show you what tea we've got in a hotel room. 
Prince and Sons Tea Company, English breakfast tea. We've got a lemongrass, lime and root ginger. Wow, love it. This is, yeah, Earl Grey. Lovely. And then here to show you the bed. Just so, so lovely. Got a little welcome thing here on the bed. So cute. What is this? Is this to keep? Oh, it's a happy birthday. Oh, oh how nice is that? Did you know that was a happy birthday? Oh, that is so lovely. That's so and sweet. The times of everything are on here. Yeah, we've got our restaurant time on there. And then here to the left, oh, look at this. Got a lovely bath in the room. We're almost not here for long enough, are we? I know, that's the problem. You would want, oh, I could spend the week here easily and I wouldn't get bored. We've got a lovely um, his and her sink. Even down to like these books in the room, so gorgeous. Look at this with the gold, the brass taps. But this is just unbelievable. I love that um, towel rail, so lovely. Then we've got the shower, the green tiles, with the brass shower head. Oh my gosh, it's just incredible. I mean, what more could you really ask for? And the weather, guys, 27 degrees. It's just, I mean, look at all the interiors in Spo you can get as well. And you've got your own little private place here to sit outside. I mean, it's almost a shame. Can we have, well, I think we should have breakfast here tomorrow. And have <laughs> breakfast in the room. It's almost a shame to waste that, isn't it? Yeah, well, we can sit out there tonight with the fire. Yeah, 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 definitely. Are you happy with your choice of place, Andy? I am very happy. Oh, am I, Everyone needs to take our hats off to Andy. It is good, isn't it? That's really good. This was Andy's doing for my birthday. Are you pleased, babe? I am. Are you I'm pleased? I'm very pleased. Good. I'm very, very happy. Do we think it's time? Yes. To open champers. Andy's going to do the honours. Pop I'm the champagne. The First one of my birthday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did it deliberately. I oh, did it. you? <laughs> I thought it was going to really pop it then. It would have done if I didn't put it out like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. But anyway guys, plan is me and Andrew are going to have a little sip of champagne. Then we're going to head over and I think we're going to grab a little bit of like a light lunch because we're not eating dinner until half past eight and it's only about two o'clock now. So we're going to have a little light lunch in the restaurant and I'm going to have a little look around the shopping part. So yeah, I'll take you with me for that and show you how gorgeous some of the bits are there. Let's get some sun, baby. It's time to go. All we need to put on a Negroni. It's stagliato with Prosecco in it. Actually, it's straight Negroni. What are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's nice. Is it nice? No, it's actually really nice. Just is it? Very it strong. smells really nice. What percentage is it? Negroni, I'm not sure. You're taking it like a man. I'm a bloke. <laughs> He's a bloke. <laughs> just stopped off at the Ox Barn for a little bit of lunch. How cute is this little seating area here? They've got little fire pits over there as well. So me and Andy are going to have a little light lunch. Andy just said I look like a bloody tourist with my camera but guys I don't care. This is one of those places I was just saying where every single angle you look it's just like so yeah perfect just it's like being on Pinterest every single direction even here apart from that one <laughs> <laughs> but look everywhere you point the camera it's just so gorgeous like I, I really want to get a nice picture here but honestly I'm sport for choice I just don't even know where to start it's so so lovely well done Andy props to you <laughs> I do have style you do have some style um, Andy's just had um, a little beer it's of... a proper beer as well it's not a lager how do you know that why are you dipping your fingers in it? I'm getting a fly out of it. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, we've just ordered just some bread and butter and some chips because we've got um, dinner at the restaurant a bit later, so we don't want to fill ourselves up too much, Thanks but I just have to let you know, these are categorically the best chips <laughs> we've ever had in our entire lives. Everything's the best. The posh 
chip butties that we are essentially having for lunch. The best chip butty I've ever had in my entire life. We're having this for lunch. Like, we're having a nice dinner, babe. I just, this is really what I fancied. The butter, the bread, it's just. Oh, the bread's bouncy. Why is it and, bouncy? Uh, Andy literally just said, it's impossible to be in a bad mood here. And it's so true. He said, you're a psychopath if you come here in a bad mood. I mean, we have got the weather for it as well. Yeah. We were just saying, how nice would it be to come here at Christmas when it's all decorated and you put that chip in, babe. Is that nice? Is that a good one? So we've just finished up with lunch. Look how gorgeous it is, guys. I'm just going to do a little 360 of where I am right now. Everywhere you look, just so stunning. But we're just walking through reception now. We're going to have a little look around the shops. But this is the building that's called the Piggery. So as you can see, the little, um, what are now windows, used to be where the pigs would come in and out. It's just honestly, it's so lovely. But anyway, I'm going to take you through to the shopping bit now and have a little look. So I've just popped in here. We've got some amazing like, cookery books, flower books, garden books, like nature books. It's just so cute. Oh my God, what are these? What are these? Are these just little like ornaments? Yeah. Oh my God, how cute is this? Little spring onion. Hey. Oh, God, <laughs> so immature. <laughs> but look how gorgeous it is in here as well. Everything, I, I can't stop saying it. I'm so sorry for repeating myself. Everywhere you look and turn, it just looks like it's something that off a Pinterest board. Honestly, I love, look at this chest of drawers, how stunning this is. They've got some gorgeous glassware. How nice they and the plates. This lovely um, Bertioli range. I'm really um, quite tempted. I really like it if I've got a hand wash to get for the kitchen and have a little look around and um, see what I can find. They've got, oh, they've got a candle. <laughs> lovely. These lovely bowls. Look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Look how gorgeous this mug is. So beautiful. Is it a cookery book? Oh, Soil to table. Oh yeah, I think it is like a recipe book as well. I think it's a bit of everything. Yeah, it's a bit of everything. That's really nice. All these up here and then over here. How stunning are these plates? Got all these different tablecloths. Oh, it's so nice. Look at this with the um, flowers on. So nice. I love this with all the veggies on. Honestly, I just don't even know where to look. I've got napkins down there with napkin rings. There is actually another bit um, upstairs. We're gonna go and have a little look. Oh, there's green kits in here. Oh, God, and these big bowls in here. I haven't even seen these. I like the green one over there. That's really nice. Got some kitchen aprons here. Hello, bags. Oh, bags. I thought there were aprons hanging. Oh, so I thought there were aprons like folded up. Oh, little bags. Don't forget me. Oh, my God, I'm wearing forget me not. So yeah. Cute. yeah, oh, we're These not here. Preserves on the 18th, which are the sixth Oh, the we're not going to be here for a cookery class, but they run these all through the season. It actually, the whole place started out as just like a cookery school. And then they expanded and turned the whole place into a hotel. So yeah, this is kind of like their bread and butter where they started. Oh, so we would have we would have just missed out on this one. The um, preserves, oh, the Italian one would have been good. Yeah. Right, should we head up to the, is it boutique upstairs? This is like a function room that you can hire. So people have like birthdays here. They were just telling us earlier that someone's hired the entire place, like the whole of time for a wedding. Like, can you imagine? Just unreal. Look at that display in the middle with the flowers. I'm just gonna take you over there just to show you this. Got these sofas. I mean, look at that. That is, imagine having this in your house. Just so gorgeous. And then out here, you've got more of the garden. I just can't get over how good. I'm so sorry, guys. I keep repeating myself. I think you could probably imagine how amazed I am at this place. I think this is like a little, um, uh, what's the name? Uh, like kitchen garden down here. And they've said all the veg and everything they serve 
um, in the restaurant. It's all grown here. Look at all this. Look at this, it's so beautiful. And then in here, these rooms here, are where they do their, um, if there's no one in there, yep, there's no one in there, a little peek. This is where they do their like cookery um, lessons and things like that. There's a little long table in there. Honestly, just gorgeous. But we're gonna head up the stairs now to this section up here and have a little look around the boutique and see what the goodies they've got. green ones oh, and the lemon oh that's so nice for in the summer imagine doing like a blue imagine doing something like this like a blue and lemon you know like italian tuscany style um dinner table they've got these more sort of um, like autumnal tablecloths as well i would honestly i would love to come here at christmas time because i bet they've got some incredible bits in here We actually have this at home, but this one has time on it. I can't remember where that. I think mine was from Doddington's. Yeah, yeah, we've yeah. got it here. Got more like glasses and things in here. Clothes. I think it's a top. But matching shorts. I think they don't feel like pajamas. No, they're not pajamas. Oh. So we've just come outside, and these are all like individual little um, cottages that you can also hire to um, stay in. So we're going up here to the farmhouse. So up here you've got the spa, you've got the pool. And then there's some more places to stay. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this place is. Anyway, you come past there, up through here. Look at this table. In here, you've got Andrew modeling it perfectly. You've got like um, conference rooms in here. So you can hire these for meetings and functions and all sorts of things. Have a little mooch in here, look. Can you go? Oh, can you go in here? No, oh, fine, let's take you in for a little explore. So yeah, imagine having your work meeting in here. Pretty nice, I love their outdoor furniture as well. I absolutely love these trees in these, what would you call these? These trugs? <laughs> and I keep calling them, they're like, oh, these big like planters, aren't they? I mean, it's just, Lovely. Imagine having some of these in our garden. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you happy, babe? This is the lodge where you can also stay. And then this tree, um, at the beginning when they were giving us our tour, so a lot of people actually come just to see this tree. It's 400 years old. And then if you carry on down there, that's the spa down there. And then just over here, if you can just see that little like gateway over there, that's where the pool is. I'll take you down to have a little look down there as well in a minute. But So this is the meadow spa. This is where I'll be heading tomorrow morning for my little massage. Look at that little side table looks through the pot. And then round here, just the other side of this house, You've got the pool in there. I'm obviously not going to film that because I'm sure there'll be people relaxing in there. Don't want to uh, disturb them. So we've just come outside again to um, what is basically like their kitchen garden bits. So you've got this huge rosemary 
bushes here. It smells so gorgeous here as well. And then down here, we, what have we got over here? Sage. We just spotted one of the chefs coming down. They picked um, picked some of the herbs and took them back. Look how lovely these are. What have they got? Mint. Oh, the signs. Oh yeah, the signs. <laughs> Me thinking Andy's a herb connoisseur and he's just reading the signs. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this here. Imagine having your lunch outside. That's nice, that. How gorgeous is that? I feel like this is going to be a vlog that I keep re-watching myself just for all of the inspo. And then round here. Yeah, what have we got round here? Back to our room. Oh, we're back to our room. So guys, if any of you are interested in staying here, by the way, when I say that, it always sounds like an ad. <laughs> I wish it was an ad, but no, we did, obviously. Well, I didn't pay. Andrew kindly paid for my birthday. This isn't an ad, but if you did want to come stay here, we stayed in one of the garden rooms, which I highly recommend. But yeah, particularly in the summer, because you get this little outdoor section here. So if the weather's oh, nice, drank champagne. <laughs> our empty champagne bottle. But, um, but yeah, if you get a nice day like it is today, you've got your own private bit to sit at. I mean, we were just saying earlier, actually, to be honest, even when you're sat out in like the more um, public areas, it's so quiet and peaceful. But yeah, I think this is an absolute must if you come here in the summer and you've got a lovely weather. So I have just freshened up a little bit and got changed ready for dinner. It's still so, so warm. So. Another little linen outfit, this time from Karen Mullen. So this is um, my black little play suit. Um, I think I might have shown this in a vlog already. Um, it's fairly recent, I think it'll still be online, but it's just so lovely, so perfect for like dressing up for an evening or wearing more casually in the day. You can't see what shoes I'm wearing. I have to get Andy to um, film. <laughs> no, definitely can't see. I'm just wearing my little let me quickly show you these little Zara flat shoes. Um, I actually decided to keep these in the end. You might remember I showed them you um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I just feel like the more I have actually started wearing them, they are actually okay to keep on. I thought I'd really struggle, but they're actually okay. So yeah, this is my outfit. Uh, we're gonna go and get some lovely food. Just on the way to dinner, I'm losing the light, so I'm trying to be quick. Andy, looking very smart. Always. You don't know where your outfit's from? Not a clue. <laughs> how, do, how does he forget where his outfit's from? I Come have on. no idea. Caramel and outfit, little shoes. I really could not be bothered to wear heels tonight, but um, in our rooms, so we're in like the garden room, so when you're sat out on the, um, in the garden, you can, if next door like sat out, you can hear what they're saying. And I just heard um, the lady next door just got proposed to. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> So it's the next morning and you might be able to see had a little bit of rain overnight but it actually feels so nice it feels so much more fresher this morning doesn't it it's not cold at all like I've just I've literally got my arms out but it's just so much more crisp I feel like we needed this after a few days of being in the heat look how nice it is walking to breakfast guys oh look at this little water fountain I don't think I showed you this yesterday little chicken so cute but anyhow, we're just um, about to grab some breakfast. So yeah, I'll show you what we end up having. I've just got back and put a little bit of makeup on. Just had the best deep tissue massage ever. Never had a deep tissue massage before. I've always had um, just like a, relax a relaxation one. Oh my God, this woman, she literally got stuck in there. I'm actually a little bit sore now, but it was so, so needed. 
I've never heard my back click so much in my entire life, but it's been a very quick turnaround. I've just popped a little bit of makeup on. I've still got all lines on my face from, um, from a massage, but oh well. Um, my hair could have probably done with a style up, but I've just kind of had to work with it. Um, I've just got ready for the day. I am wearing uh, another dress from Forever New. They're black linen one, the same one that I showed you in my last vlog. I know so many of you really like this black one. So comfortable. But we are um, just about to check out of our room and check out of time, which is sad times, literally. Um, I've already decided that I 100% want to come back here. But, um, but yeah, we're about to leave now. So I'll check in with you when we're in the car um, and fill you in on where we're going to now. Back in the car and just leaving time now. Honestly, I cannot say how amazing our stay was. I only wish we were staying longer. We've already said that um, we want to we want to come back again. It's just the most lovely, lovely place. Everything from how it looks to like the food, the drinks, the staff, the service, just really, really nice. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. That was a good pick from you, Bob. Well done. That was the best pick. Yeah, I'd say that's probably our best stay. Yeah, isn't it? Hundred percent. That we've done. Just nothing could have been. Nothing went wrong. It was just perfect, wasn't it? It was. Really, really nice to get away. Um, but anyway, so we've checked out and we're on our way now to Dalesford. Obviously, we have to pop into Dalesford while we're down here. We, um, we don't get to go that much. Considering Andy's mum and dad don't live too far away, um, we should probably pop there more often when we go and see them. But um, we don't actually get to go over, we don't get to have a little mooch around there that much. I'd say we probably get there once a year, don't we? Yeah. Probably make a little trip over. But um, but yeah, we're going there today. They've actually got something on today. It's like their um, 20th anniversary. Uh, 20th anniversary, yeah? Yeah, anniversary. Yeah, and they're doing... Um, they've basically got like a little shindig going on over there. Like a little... Festival. Fe yeah, festival. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Um, so they've got just loads of little bits going on. I think they've got um, lots of little stalls and... So yeah, we've picked quite a good um, a good weekend to come down. So we are going to head over there now, check that out, and then we'll be heading home. And then tonight we've got our friends coming over for a little uh, celebration as well. I don't know how long this vlog's going to be. A long vlog. I don't know whether it's going to be a super long one, whether I have to split this into two. We'll see how we get on. But anyway, we're on our way to Dalesford. Change of plan, guys. We're no longer going to Dalesford because when we were about, God, 10, 15 minutes away, the queue heading to Dalesford, they've shut off one of the routes and the other route, it was just, the queue was ridiculously long and we sat in it and we literally did not move. And there was like rumors coming down the car. Everyone was getting out of the cars, it was that bad. And there was rumors coming down to us saying that Dalesford had stopped letting people in. There was too many people there, which I don't know if that's true, but if it is, I think that's really bad, isn't it? Because yeah. we'd already bought tickets. So we had tickets for this festival thing and we couldn't get there. So, I, but as I said, I don't know if that's true, but that was what was, was going around. Spreading that was spreading cotton's rumours. <laughs> that was going down the rumour mill of the traffic jam. But yeah, so we've unfortunately just had to leave it. Otherwise, it's, it would have made us so late. And as I said, we've got plans this evening. So, and the thing is, even if we'd wait in that queue, it's going to be so busy there. I don't even think it would have been that enjoyable to... No. Like we wanted to genuinely have a little like a look around and I just don't think it would have been the experience that we wanted. So we're gonna save the Dalesford trip for another day, I think. We're down this way a I fair bit. We have bit. been there enough. We've been we know there. It is. Exactly. And like when we're down like seeing your mum and dad and stuff, it's not that much hassle to drive that way, is it? No. 